So Jesus says, if you abide in me, I can do some things in your life. But if you abide not in me, no use of calling it bad luck. Preach, Reverend Jordan. Yeah, if you're not abiding in Christ, there's no reason for you to be hating on somebody else. Preach, Reverend Jonah. And I wish I had a lot more time. It's a shame that even us who are brothers and sisters in Christ got an overtone of jealousy and hatred because it looks like somebody else is doing better than us. You ought to check your reason, and your reason may be is because there's no fruit. Preach, Reverend Jonah. And if there's no fruit, there is no abiding. And if there's no abiding, that means that there is no relationship. A lot of interesting things some folk can say on Facebook. One said that folk who are successful does not worry about what anybody else is doing. Only the ones who are not successful are always concerned about what somebody else has got. I wish I had a witness in here. And only those who are lost in their own bitterness are the ones that's constantly trying to put somebody bitterness down. Preach Reverend Jonah. But you know what I made up in my mind? As long as I'm connected to Jesus, does not matter what somebody else has. Good God Almighty, as long as I am abiding in him. I wish I had a witness in here. Does not matter what somebody else got more than me because I know what his words say his words say yeah with me with you I'm more than the world against you is there a witness in here you can do all things through Christ Jesus with strength and need you that's what keep telling me hey Larry don't worry about your haters. I'll show you what I can do for them. I'll make your haters feed you. I wish I had a witness in here. And I'll make the haters your footstool. And what they end up doing is instead of bringing you down, they'll be lifting you up is that a witness I read in his word where he said blessed are you when others revile you and so I learned how to stay connected with the Lord good evening now as long as I'm with him there is no failure is a witness in here. I learned, good God Almighty, in my relationship with God, that He does some things in my life when He says that when it comes to Him, I'll give you power. Good God Almighty, power of stability. How can you do that, Lord? He said, look, first thing you need to know, you are not in charge of anything. My daddy is the husband man. He's been doing this 
Christ way before you showed up. And since he is a professional vine dresser, he said, look, this is what happened when you are connected with me. Good God Almighty, the first thing is he purged it it. You ought to read that there. What do that mean? Purge it. It means he knows that you're going to pick up some filthy habits. He knows that you're going to do some bad things. He knows that you're going to fall sometimes. And when you fall, you get contaminated by what you fall in. He knows that you're going to sneak around and do some things. Oh, y'all ain't got to pray with me. I'm here now. He knows that there's some stuff in you that's still no good. Good God Almighty. I got to go have a colonoscopy. And you know what? The night before, I wish I had somebody talk to me now. Good God Almighty, they make you drink that medicine, <laughs> yeah, and that medicine <laughs> cleans you out. <laughs> Is that a witness? Oh, y'all, y'all quiet in it, but that's all right. <laughs> but I'm telling you here, nothing uh, can clean you out uh, better than the Lord. Uh, is there a witness? He keeps on uh, cleaning me. Uh, every now and then, uh, when I walk in some stuff, uh, he keeps on cleaning me. Uh, not only do he cleans me, uh, he lifts me. Uh, he says every branch uh, in me that's already producing uh, he take it away uh, I know you're thinking uh, but that word take it away uh, means to live uh, that's a play uh, we have in golf uh, when it's muddy uh, on the golf course uh, we said this is the rule live uh, clean uh, and play <laughs> And when you play golf, if your ball is stuck in the mud, you can pick it up, lift it, and clean it off. And instead of dropping it, you can just place it on a good solid place. That's what the Lord do for us. Every now and then, he has to lift us and clean us off and put it on a solid rock. I love it when David says he heard my cry yeah and um, he lifted me out of the muck and the mire and placed me on a solid rock you ought to read Psalm 40 thank God he can do that he's done it for me so I made up in my mind that I'm going to abide in him and look the best very last thing he says I have a promise yeah you can ask what you will as long as you abide in my word and my word abide in you you know what St. James I believe I hold on to the word of God he had not lied to me is there anybody else in here are you holding on to his word Word. That's power in the word of God. Power in the word of God. Power. Yeah. 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 I'm looking at some of you. Maybe you didn't come to worship, but I sure did. Back hurting and all. I'm going to still worship him. He's been too good to me. He's brought me such a mighty long ways. And if he's been good to you, you ought not be ashamed to stand where you are. Don't look at naysayers. If he's been good to you and you are a witness that it was the Lord, you ought not be ashamed to stand and praise his name. Say yeah. Say yeah. 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 Yeah.
in your right hand. I know he's all right. <laughs> 